Episode 3, Designing Your Own Custom Shapes in Photoshop. So, hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple shape over here, the mountain and as well the badge around the mountain. Now, both of these shapes are actually coming from our tutorial that we did here last week called Epic Mountain Logo in Photoshop. And in this tutorial I didn't teach how to do the mountain and as well not how to do the round badge here. So that's why we're going to create this tutorial showing you guys how to do this as well. Also, if you want to find this tutorial, simply go here to the right hand side, click on the little I button and that will take you right away to the Epic Mountain logo in Photoshop. Then also, if you're completely new to creating custom shapes, have a look again in the right hand side here. You can learn how to work with shapes as well, create shapes as well and also the defined custom shape problem, how to fix that in Photoshop. So it's all there for you guys. Great, enough about the talking, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, as you guys can see over here, I've got the shapes again and background. And so how do you actually get started with creating shapes? So where do, where do I go? It's very simple actually, you can just go online, find an image that looks pretty much to what you want to create, copy or paste it or whatever, save it and put it into Photoshop like I did over here, my logo, and now I want to replicate and just rebuild this shape. So let's get started with the outer shape here, which is basically the badge. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and as well take with M the marking tool over here and I want to take the elliptical marking tool and just create a round selection. Now on the keyboard I'm going to hold shift and just let everything equally expand with my round selection here and I'm trying to just get this round selection to be almost the same size as the top ring here. Again let's take the move tool. Okay that was a step too quick. Let's go back in the history panel. I'm going to take the move tool and literally just move Actually, the marking tool is going to stay in the marking tool and just make a selection and move that up. Okay, and I think it's a little bit too small, so press Command D, get out of the selection again. Again, I'm working with a Mac. If you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. So Command D, that means Control for you Windows people now. Okay, M for the marking tool, hold Shift on the keyboard and as well make a bigger circle. Great, again, stick with the marking tool, Manny. Okay, and move that up there. Great, so that's the first step. So I want to just put it in here. Now with the move tool, take a guideline from the left hand side here and move that all the way out till here to the top. And place it pretty much here between the selection and my shape here. Again, the same over here, put that over there. So we've got the same for the bottom here. Now I'm gonna take the marking tool again and move my selection just over here into the second corner. Okay, somewhere around there and I'm going to place a new guideline over here and going all the way down a new guideline over there and that's pretty much applied now to the same side on the right. Again, let's take the marking tool. We're going to go to the bottom. Great, and again, take a new guideline from the top. Place that somewhere over here. Maybe let's have a look if we can place the selection a little bit better. Okay, obviously a bit of a playing thing. You need to take a bit of time when you do this. Also, I'm rushing quite through this, so take a bit more time when you do it. But yeah, you guys get the point. Okay, so at the top we've got our two lines. We've got our two lines here, 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 and here, and here again. So we're actually done with our selection. If you want to do this process again for the outside, you should also do this maybe with again the taking the selection to the outside now. Or we can actually work just with these guidelines. Yeah, let's have a look once we're done. Command D, get out of the selection. And now I'm actually going to turn off here the Epic Mountain logo. Okay, so we've got just a recent shape. So you guys can also see it a little bit better. But as you guys can see, this shape is not in the right order. So let's maybe stick with Epic Mountain. Okay, next step that I want to do is take again the pen tool and start creating paths all around so we can create a shape. Also, if you're not familiar with the pen tool, have a look on the channel. I've created another tutorial teaching you how to work with the pen tool. So let's get started. Put an anchor point here in the top, another one over here. Okay, it's pretty straight. Then another one over here. Keep on holding. And we're gonna create the round shape there. A round path actually. Okay, going down all the way till here. And I can see that my lines are not too accurate at the moment. 
Okay, like so, and we're gonna drop it. So this is obviously a bit of a playing thing. I'm rushing through this. Take a bit more time when you do this. Okay, I'm gonna hold Alt, take this anchor point to move this down over here. Okay, keep on holding. Like so, move that in. Boop. And again, that's a little bit too far out. So let's go step back. And over here, and we're gonna try to keep on holding that path all the way down over here and again keep on holding path and we're closing the path now with the last anchor point great so we've got a nice selection now or actually a path around our shape i'm going to turn everything off so you guys can actually see it and now you can also inspect your shape a little bit so if it's not too accurate like mine now you can actually hold command again windows users please press control while you're in the pen tool and holding command you can back go back here onto your path and then obviously with alt taking these little points here you can restructure things or again move your anchor points a little bit like in or out whatever you want to do great so once you're happy with your path you can just zoom out again quickly before I go and create this shape now you can also continue with the path tool as we said before and you can also do this on the outside again right and you can just replicate again something on the outside and then also obviously create a little round ring batch but that I don't want to do today so I'm going to go back to new guides over here okay and now it's literally once you're done with your path you're going to hit right click again and say define custom shape over here okay you're going to give that a name maybe shape 6161 okay and I'm going to hit escape in the pen tool. I can go back to you or on the left hand side here. We're going to go back to the custom shape tool, back to our shape library here in the top, all the way down. And here's our shape that we've created now. So again, I can hold shift and it's equally expanding and we have a nice shape now. As well, if you just want to have the ring and you've just did this step, you can simply go to fill at the top, put transparent off and go to stroke, say full color on stroke maybe even give that a red color and just upgrade here or just push up the pixels so you can also create a nice ring and it's also evenly um, spaced so that looks really great okay so that's how you can actually create a super quick shape badge I'm going to delete this again and we're simply going to create now also the top mountains here now again before you start with that go back to view clear all the guides again and you're going to start out right away with creating guidelines now for me i don't want to create all the guidelines i'm a bit lazy to be honest but for you maybe if you're completely new to this try to create as much guidelines as you can so again i'm going to drag out one here and uh, you have to place them on all the little corners that you see from your logo badge whatever you want to replicate so again, I'm going to create now a few just to show it to you guys. Okay, and I sometimes hate creating these, but it really helps. Okay, and a few more. One over here maybe. Okay, we're going to create one more over here. All the corners, like I said before, but I'm still not doing that. Okay, so I should create one more for here, for here, 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 here. All of these places. Okay, I'm going to create one more at the top. One over here. Maybe there and one at the bottom and yeah let's also get now into that how to create this so basically again you can create a new layer if you want also take the pen tool again and you're now just connecting dots and all the anchor points here with each other because you have so many guidelines but as you guys can see I was lazy again and didn't create all the guidelines so again putting an anchor point over here 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 and then you just continue doing those steps until you are done with replicating your badge here or basically your shape sorry okay continuing and that's obviously easier if you have guidelines because you can just connect all the dots okay and we are done great so you guys can see already a cool shape there again I'm going to go to view clear guides and I'm going to turn this off so we can actually see it and now say for instance I'm not too pretty happy here with all the guides so again I'm going to hold command windows people again control via you in the pen tool you're going to go and hit command click on this again and I can literally hold command and just take these anchor points here and move them a little bit until everything is nice and straight until I'm happy with my shape so again having guidelines really helps 
uh, not like me being lazy and trust trying to do it quickly okay so let's finish this again right click here into the inside of the path and say define custom shape you can say again here mountain whatever you want to rename this to hit OK and there you go you've created now your shape again in the pen tool you can escape all of this go back to the custom shape tool and select here your shape library and down here you guys can see I also have another shape so you guys can see I create quite a lot of different shapes obviously not these ones here they're really technical but the simple ones over here and as well these other ones yeah created those again I've selected it hold shift so it's equally expanding and there we go having a really cool shape now again if those outlines are irritating you the path lines just press command shift and H all together and those are hidden and you can now actually see your logo a little bit better yeah and if you want to create new shapes always be in mind that you should create new layers and then you create your shape on top of that great so that is just a quick tutorial teaching you guys how to work with these two shapes and also create these two shapes if you guys like this tutorial don't forget to hit the thumbs up there share it with all your buddies who are new to Photoshop and yeah thanks again for watching guys see you all in the next tutorial thanks guys bye bye